Good morning. Welcome to a little bit of hope this morning. It is a beautiful day. A slight bit of snow out there right now. But I guess we're in for a few inches today. It's around Christmas. We're in December. And it really makes many people happy. I know as a kid I used to enjoy snow for Christmas. And we'll see how that works through. But Psalm 92 this morning it is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises to your name, Most High, to proclaim your loyal love in the morning, your faithfulness at nighttime, with the ten-stringed harp, with the melody of the lyre. Because you've made me happy, Lord, by your acts, I sing with joy because of your handiwork. How awesome are your works, Lord. Your thoughts are so deep. Ignorant people don't know. Fools don't understand this. Though the wicked spring up like grass, all the evildoers seem to blossom. They do so only to be destroyed forever. But you, Lord, are exalted forever. And then in verse 12, it says something I think is kind of neat. 12, 13, and 14. The righteous will spring up like a palm tree. They will grow strong like a cedar of Lebanon. Those who have been replanted in the Lord's house will spring up in the courtyards of our God. They will bear fruit even when old and gray they will remain lush and fresh in order to proclaim the Lord is righteous. He is my rock. There's nothing unrighteous in him. And it's interesting to me to look at this this morning. Because on Saturday, preparing for Sunday, preparing really for a busy week, because we have a um, blue Christmas service on the 21st and then we have Christmas Eve two services and of course service tomorrow my mind is set on worship give thanks to the Lord to sing praises to God's name to proclaim God's love and then I look at that and I I look down towards the bottom of this. The discussion about how those who take on, accept Christ in their lives, they will bear fruit when old and gray. They will remain lush and fresh in order to proclaim the Lord is righteous. He is my rock. There is nothing unrighteous in him. Isn't that where we draw hope from? We, and we praise because we draw hope. We praise because of who God is. And, and the fascinating part about that thought process is here we are just a few days away from Jesus' birth and our celebration of the greatest gift ever received. A gift that was meant to give to experience and truly to praise and glorify well, waiting for his second coming as well. That's pretty significant. Far greater in understanding than when I was a kid and was focused on the tree and the packages. And I think because of that opportunity to look at it differently, it's certainly much more meaningful as I prepare for the services ahead. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank and praise you for this beautiful day you've given to us and for this time together. And we thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to sing praises and to glorify and to reflect. The only way we appreciate is by reflecting, as you know, on who you are and whose we are. Your perfection, your calling, your forgiveness, your grace, your mercy, your love. Lord, guide us to experience that in its completeness. 
Lord, we ask that you lay your hands upon Brett Cook. Continue to heal him on Carrie and the family as they care for him. On Mike as he is in the, in the hospital. And help him wake up and lay your hands on Mary Beth and the family as they support him. We lift you all those who have COVID, who are struggling anyway, who have been impacted by COVID and are struggling, who are... Well, struggling this time of year also because of the loss of a loved one and are grieving or maybe a change in setting. We lift to you, Lord, those who are on the front lines, those who are in harm's way, and we ask that you care for them as well. And we ask, Lord, also that you truly touch lives this season. May this be... A new experience for us as we get to know you more completely. We lift you, Lord, our churches, our leaders, and spring up leaders, Lord, much like the grass and other things that we hear in Scripture that spring up, but help them be fruitful and long lasting and guide us in that time frame. And lay your hands upon the pastors as they are preparing for a very busy week ahead. Guide us, Lord. Guide our leaders. Lay your hands upon our finances and bless us in every way. Lord, to you be all honor and glory through Jesus Christ. We lift this in his name. Amen. Well, my friends, good morning. It is great to see you this morning. It is great to spend time with you. I look forward to spending it again. Again, uh, this Sunday we're on online or in person at 9.30 and hope to see you then. If not, we have uh, a, a blue Christmas service this week. We have uh, Christmas Eve at 5 and 7, and there's going to be nursery care in those. Such a busy week, but such a joyful week where we can tell of our Lord and Savior and his birth and his coming. And Wow, what a story. What a blessing. So until we see each other again, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May you be blessed and be a blessing to others. And until we do see each other again, be safe. God bless you. Be that witness to the world that they need so badly. Be safe so you can enjoy that. So, my friends, until we meet again, God bless you. Bye for now.